Hello everybody, Mathrol here, and welcome to the weekly update video for RS3. Now last week we missed last week's, but there was hardly anything, uh, as it was just like 10 patch notes, sadly. It was really very underwhelming. Uh, so, I, But I do apologize, because that is some patch notes. However, this week, uh, we do have the Harvest Hollow launches today. Uh, this week in RuneScape. Next week, I believe, or pretty shortly after, is actually going to be the group Iron Man that is coming up. Uh, but right now we have the Halloween event, the Harvest Hollow. Uh, so this begins um, you know, right around Jernor, as you would expect, the Jernor Manor. Uh, so do go and check that out. Uh, this will be going live up until November 4th. So you have plenty of time to go through and get all kinds of goodies including um new outfits there's the field of screams uh you get a new pets a new head override as you can see here so all kinds of goodies and there is a free froggly outfit uh for charity uh, so as you can see here it's a very fun outfit uh but this amphibian inspired outfit is available free in the marketplace be sure to pick it up before um it hops away on October 21st. As you can see, it's a very fun outfit. Uh, well, where did this idea come from? It came from on an International Women's uh, Day of March. The Jackets played a host to nearly 100 students from nearby girls' schools, and and they did a workshop to discuss discussed uh, art, audio, game design, and more. And one of the lucky people. Uh, who was there, they ended up taking this design and making an outfit for in the game. So that's pretty dang awesome, you know? Uh, so the outfit being, it's a very fun design too. I, I, it's, it's pretty cool. And then patch notes, there is no patch notes. And then with the, cause of not only the Harvest Hollow, but then, like I said before, we have the group Iron Man coming up. Uh, so there's actually no patch notes today. Uh, other than that, though, there is an upcoming uh, dev chat. So this will be dev chat for Halloween. This is going to be October 17th at 1600 game time. Uh, there is some treasure hunter uh, starting October 17th and ending the 21st as a dungeon delve. Uh, so as you can see here, there is a new warped and frozen themed animations uh, for the basic... Um, not only just the basic, but as you can see here, there's a living death and stuff like that. These are all overrides for uh, necromancy attacks. Uh, there's also a new primal guardian conjure override token. So as you can see here, pretty cool looking them, right? Uh, but also, oh, uh, it's just say that these overrides can be purchased as a personal unlock uh, for one token each as or as a tradable item for three tokens each. So there is two different ways of getting that. Uh, the community showcase. Up first we have Shirokis and the gang hand, uh, try their hand in cheering up the corruption at the gate of Elidness. Pretty cool. And then here we have a player portrait by Ariadson. Pretty dang awesome. Pretty sinister looking. And then Bucket Cultist is showing off some artwork for an abyssal themed dragon, which looks pretty terrifying to be honest and then we go into some scaper screenshots up first we have Dolby try their hand in cleansing uh for the gate of Alidness. and then we got a uh, full moon uh sky drop here for over alcarid absolutely awesome and skeleton is having a moment of peace and meditation in the crater and then we have the pink skirt player events of course uh up first listed anyways the Peppy spot in the boss guild for next uh, Friday, October 18th at 2000 game time. Location is the God Wars Dungeon, Ancient Prison, World 88. FC is the boss guild. And then we have a Kususaroth uh, hard mode, Mercy and Helpscape, Thursday, October 17th at 1700 game time. Zamrock Lobby, World 35. FC is Helpscape. And then we have next, hosted by Mercy and Dung Titan, Saturday, October 19th at 1300 game time. God of Wars Dungeon, Ancient Prison, World 35, FC's Dung Titan. And of course, there's so many more uh, going on during that time frame, so do check that out. 
And then Rune HQ is having a birthday month, so this is a fantastic source for RS3 and OSRS guides. I know I used it there for a long time. I also used Tippet and all kinds of things. They were always very helpful with all their guides uh, up until I started making my own guides. So there you go. Uh, but that is actually it for this week. We got the Halloween event coming up. Well, that is here. So enjoy, guys, and be spooky. So until next time, later, guys.